Introduction to Mobile Radiography Hi, my name is Lim Hui, Diagnostic Radiographer from Singapore General Hospital. At the end of this presentation, you will be able to identify the common procedures, benefits and limitations of mobile radiography, state the guidelines and criteria of mobile radiography, and recognize radiation safety measures. What is mobile radiography? Mobile radiography, also known as bedside radiography, is a radiographic examination performed using a mobile X-ray unit. It is usually performed on patients with unstable vitus who are not able to be ported to the radiology department. There are differences between mobile and conventional X-ray units. Essentially, a mobile X-ray unit is smaller than a conventional fixed unit and can be moved. It allows radiographers to take X-ray images of patients without having to transport them into a special lead line room. Mobile X-ray units are not equipped with auxiliary facilities, which includes the degree of flexibility and movement of X-ray tube, table, and the availability of positioning aids. As such, it has limitations in performing certain bedside imaging. Benefits of mobile radiography include achieving better infection control during the pandemic outbreak and civil emergency. Mobile units are used to minimize transferring of patients and therefore preventing cross-infection among patients. In addition, streamlined workflow and improved efficiency are achieved through mobile radiography. Digital mobile x-ray unit allows clinicians to view preliminary images on the unit's monitor instantly, allowing immediate corrective actions, gross diagnosis, and treatment. Examples include identifying any malposition and associated complications arising from post, line, and tube insertion. There are three limitations of mobile radiography services. Firstly, image quality is often limited because room conditions are less than ideal as compared to that of a fixed X-ray. Only chest X-rays and supine abdomen X-rays are commonly performed on acutely ill patients who may have urgent finding, necessitating prompt detection and treatment. The rest of the X-rays are not recommended and are advised to bring the patient to the radiography department. Secondly, there is risk of scattered radiation to surrounding patients. Scattered radiation is secondary radiation that spreads in different directions from a beam when that beam interacts with any matter, such as the body tissue. Therefore, surrounding patients may be exposed to unnecessary radiation through the bedside radiography. Lastly, this service comes with extra surcharge. Patients will be subjected to additional costs for the procedure to be done in the ward. With the limitation of mobile radiography services in mind, requesting clinicians should weigh the benefits and limitations before ordering a mobile radiography. Fortunately, there are guidelines available to support the ordering of mobile radiography. Firstly, mobile radiography is appropriate for patients who falls under the dangerously ill list or DIL for short. As a patient's condition is not ideal to be transferred out of the room for x-ray in the radiology department. Secondly, mobile radiography is appropriate for patients with unstable vital signs. In addition, mobile radiography is also recommended for patients under isolation such as COVID-positive patients. Patients in ICUs or high-dependency units are also recommended for mobile radiography. The next category of patients who will benefit from mobile radiography are those who require constant monitoring and observation. Examples include patients attached to life-supporting devices like continuous suction, IABP devices, or ongoing dialysis. Finally, mobile radiography is necessary in areas where there is no fixed X-ray unit available such as operating theatre. In the clinical setting, Radiographers often encounter mobile X-ray requests with inappropriate reasons which do not value add to patient management. Some of the commonly encountered reasons that are inappropriate include not enough accompanying staff, doctor wanting the X-ray immediately, patient is willing to pay for the service, patient is violent, patient is sick, or doctor insisting on using mobile radiography. 
So, when is mobile radiography appropriate? Before requesting for mobile x-ray for their patients, clinicians should weigh the benefits and costs for mobile radiography. This is a short video demonstrating the process of a chest mobile radiography performed in a ward setting. There are strategies to maintain radiation protection during mobile radiography. The three fundamental principles are time, distance, and shielding. Before performing the mobile radiography, one should ensure that there is no pregnant patient or staff within the room. All visitors must leave the room or ward cubicle before radiation exposure is made. Patients in the same cubicle who are not classified as fall risk will be advised to step away before making radiation exposure. Additional portable X-ray lead shield will be utilized to shield nearby patients from unnecessary scattered radiation if the ward is equipped with it. Radiographers performing the X-ray will don the lead apron and thyroid shield before radiation exposure. Radiographers will stand at least 2 meters away from the radiation source and a verbal warning will be given before radiation exposure is made. The most common procedure performed is chest X-ray. This is a case study of a patient who presented with worsening breathlessness, phlegm, and left lower zone crabs on admission. On imaging, a tension hydropneumothorax was identified. Patient was hospitalized and inserted with left chest tube. On the third day, Mobile chest X-ray was requested to rule out worsening of hydropneumothorax because patient was still feeling very breathless and complained of chest pain. The clinical diagnosis and patient's condition warranted for chest X-ray to be performed as mobile radiography. Fortunately, imaging outcomes suggest interval hydropneumothorax has improved. Another commonly requested procedure is abdomen X-ray. In this case study, patient was admitted to high dependency unit and presented with severe abdominal pain after an abdomen surgery. Patient had an urgent mobile abdomen x-ray done and was subsequently diagnosed with sigmoid volvulus. With the condition detected early, patient went for surgery and another mobile abdomen x-ray was performed. The sigmoid volvulus was resolved and this suggests that mobile radiography has clearly benefited the patient. In summary, mobile radiography is indicated for patients who are acutely ill or are unstable to be transferred to the radiology department. It is prudent for clinicians to weigh the patient outcome versus the dose to other patients and personnel before requesting for mobile radiography. Clinicians who are unsure on the appropriateness of mobile radiography are encouraged to refer to institutional guidelines on appropriate requests of mobile radiography. These are our references. And special thanks to Professor Lim for his contribution.